In the last lecture, we performed time scaling operations on discrete time signals and now in this lecture, we will perform amplitude scaling operations on discrete time signals. And when you compare time scaling operation with amplitude scaling operation, you will find performing amplitude scaling is very easy. So now we will understand what is amplitude scaling and for that I will take one discrete time signal Xn and we will perform the amplitude scaling and in amplitude scaling we do not scale the time here we will scale the values of signal Xn so we will get the resultant signal let's call the resultant signal yn so we will get yn which is equal to a times original signal so yn is equal to a xn so in this case we are scaling the values of original signal let's understand this by the help of one example and in this example the plot of signal xn is like this and from here we can say that xn is equal to 2 minus 1 2 3 4 2 minus 1 2 3 and 4 and xn is equal to 2 when n is equal to 0 therefore we will put one arrow mark below 2 and now we will perform the amplitude scaling of our discrete time signal xn and let's say after performing the amplitude scaling we have two times xn this means a is equal to 2 in this case and we need to find signal 2 xn the process is very simple we will simply multiply 2 on both the sides this will give us 2xn it is equal to 2 multiplied to 2 2 multiplied to 2 2 multiplied to minus 1 then we have 2 multiplied to 2 again then we have 2 multiplied to 3 and finally we have 2 multiplied to 4 when you calculate them you will find twice of xn is equal to 4 minus 2 4 6 8 4 minus 2 4 6 and 8 and don't forget to put the arrow mark which will tell you that this value is the value of twice of xn when n is equal to 0 now when you plot this you will find something like this here you can see that when n is equal to minus 2 twice of xn is equal to 4 when n is equal to minus 1 twice of xn is minus 2 and when n is equal to 0 twice of xn is equal to 4 similarly 6 and 8 so this is the answer and now we will talk about amplitude reversal we know what will happen in case of time reversal and now we will talk about amplitude reversal when we have the amplitude reversal which is the special case of amplitude scaling this a is equal to minus 1 a is equal to minus 1 so this will give us a new signal which is minus xn so what you are required to do is to simply put negative sign in front of all these values therefore we will have minus xn equal to minus 2 minus of minus 1 is equal to plus 1 then we have minus 2 similarly minus 3 and minus 4 so you can see that it is very easy to understand amplitude scaling operation as compared to the time scaling operation so once you have the better understanding of all these operations you can easily solve the questions which are having multiple operations so i will end this lecture here see you in the next one